Hello, I know how much you all know how much I love my Google Chrome extensions. So today I want to share with you another one. Sometimes you're needing to take a screenshot of a certain part of a web page or a document, which works really well if you just need to grab a tiny little bit of data. So it might be, for example, this hello banner just across the top here. But there are times when you might need to grab information that expands further down the web page. Now, most screen snipping tools or screenshot tools won't allow you to do that. But there is a Chrome extension called Go Full Page, which allows you to do that. So we're just going to take a look at this in action. So if we go through across to the project box website and then once that loads we'll then put the tool into action so if we go to go full page you'll now see it will scroll down the whole page and capture everything as we scroll down so what it's then going to do is open up a new page and here you can see my whole home page of my website has been captured. There's also all the little Loom videos down the side as it's gone down because Loom stays there. So what Go Full Page also allows you to do, now this is a free tool. You'll only need to upgrade once you just want to start exporting to different things. The other thing to know is it is only 12 US dollars for the whole entire year. So it's a very, very cheap tool. It is worth the upgrade to take advantage of some of the functionality. So if we click on edit, and now you'll see once we're in here, we've got tools like a blur. So for example, we might not want to see my face. And then over on the right hand side, we can change the transparency of that blur as well. You might decide that you need to add in some text. So in here, we can say, please change this. Um, and you can move it around and, you know, do some basic editing over on the right hand side as well. We can also put in things like arrows. So we might need to point this to something. Um, and then once you've made all the edits, you've also got tools like cropping it. Um, you can add in borders and padding if you need to. And you've got other various um, couple of little shapes and things in here as well. But when you're ready, you can just go to download and export. And you can either download the image as a PNG or you can download it as a PDF. So if we choose the PNG option, this will just download straight away. And then if we open this up and drag it across, here you can now see the whole PNG image there. If we do it as a PDF and we try again, this will open it up in the web browser, so hopefully you can see it. It has now given us a full PDF export of that web page. Now, if you're using tools like things like cropping, so say we actually don't need all this bottom chunk, we just need it to go to a certain point, we can now cut all of that out and that will actually cut the bottom part of that image off. So it's a really, really cool tool. Like I said, it's worth paying the US dollars, um, the 12 US dollars each year to upgrade purely because of the fact that you've getting got this download and export functionality, which I believe in the free tool, you can only download as a PDF, not as a PNG. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll pop the link to grab the extension underneath this video and we'll see you next time.